at all the exciting games of the week. But let's start off with who we selected for our NCAA Player of the Week. Holden has already been our choice before, and here he is again. There are very few players who can make it on the list once. Getting on it multiple times is a testament to what a special talent he is. Now let's take a look ahead to the games and get top billing on the schedule in the days to come. This is a special rivalry of college basketball. Doesn't matter what time of year it is, or even what year for that matter, when these two get together, you can always count on a fierce competitive contest. UCLA would be my pick here. They're so strong on the inside that I believe they'll be just too tough to match up with. It would really surprise me if that talent discrepancy on the inside doesn't tell the tale of this game. But that's not the only item on the schedule that has NCAA fans buzzing. This game matches a pair of top 10 teams and is sure to bring both teams' fans out of the woodwork, not to mention a fair share of the national media. plays a brand of defense that should make the difference in this game. They are a tough, tough team to score against. And if you don't squeeze the orange, they'll take it. I think they'll be in top form for this contest. There was no shortage of excitement on the court in the past few days, so let's take a look at our games of the week. We kick it off with a big-time conference matchup in the America East Conference in the ACC. Duke outdid North Carolina. Both of these teams are jostling for position at this point in the season. We're in that critical part of the year when everybody's trying to get hot before the postseason. Momentum is everything right now. Jefferson was a man possessed. His 22 points led all score. They needed an effort like that to get this win. He saw all sorts of defensive looks, but no matter what they threw at him, he handled it and handled it well. Although this next contest seemed predictable enough, one of the best teams in the country suffered severe shots to the system. Wisconsin outdid Indiana. This is one of those upsets that no one could predict here, Greg. Indiana, the sitting pretty as a top five team, but you've got to have some doubts about them after a loss like this. Wisconsin played some absolutely stifling defense. They made the guys on the other side work for every basket, and you can see that reflected in the shooting percentage. They never let up on the defensive end. That really took the pressure off the offense and allowed them to dictate the tempo of the game. To me, that was the biggest factor. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoop Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoop's action to come.